Well, everyone, it is Monday, May the 13th, 2024. I am Doug. It is time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, JB Chess Kid writes in, My grandmother just celebrated her 100th birthday last week. Maybe we could honor her with Hundo. Oh, well, congratulations uh, to JB Chess Kid's grandmother. Uh, I hope you're watching uh, or this is being shown to you uh, because this episode is for you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start today with Hundo in your honor. Let's see what we get. Uh, oh, not bad. We get a U in position and a letter N out of position. So a good start for us, indeed. Um, so I guess I'm trying to think to myself, where would I put the letter N if not in the third spot, which seems like where you'd kind of expect that letter to be uh, where it's following a U. Uh, boy, I mean, you could make the case for first, fourth, or fifth. Um, uh, well, if you go in the first spot, what jumps out at us here? Um, I guess, let's see. I usually use the word nurse. Uh, that gets, you know, that's interesting because that gets R, S, and E. These are certainly uh, letters I would want to evaluate, no doubt. So that, that could work. Um, let's give that a go. Obviously, it could be the answer. We get another two guess solve here. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word nurse? No, it's not. Uh, but we also know now that the letter N has to be in the fourth or the fifth location. Uh, boy, I could, I feel like it could be either, either direction. Uh, I feel like I almost, hmm. Let's see here. Putting it in the fourth spot, nothing is jumping out at me in terms of something that would fit. I feel like I'm almost interested in trying to work out what makes sense in the third spot in a situation like this, on a board like this. U-A-N, no, because quaint would be six letters, not five. Uh, I don't think there's a Q-U word here. I don't think so either in the fourth or the fifth spot for the N. U-I-N, uh, uh, hmm. Interesting. U L N No. Interesting board. I keep going back to U A N, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Um Hmm. Suing, but the S is something we tested. The U I N G, I don't think so. Um, I guess the premium here is figuring out where the letter N goes, fourth to the fifth spot, and there's no chance it's both. It's not blank U, blank N, N. So I wonder if maybe this is a case where I actually want to do an eval on the third guess. Once the great while, we'll do that. And if I did that, what would be a word that would put the N like in the fourth or fifth spot and also evaluate a bunch of other letters. I think I want to look at the A and the I to see if one of those vowels is involved. I probably is. Um, oh, so maybe something like paint. So paint would give us the, the it will definitely know at the end of this eval where the N lives in the fourth or the fifth. And we'll test the A and the I and we'll also get P and T, uh, P and, but N having that looked at is also really a good thing. So I think we're going to do a strict eval here on the third guess uh, just to settle the issue with the letter N, and hopefully we'll get another vowel. That would be a bonus that I suspect we probably will get. So let's see paint for eval. What do we get? Oh, okay. So we know the N is at the end in the last spot. And there's also an I. I don't think the I would be in the front. So that tells me that we have blank U, blank I-N. Uh, I keep thinking Bruin, but the U has to be in the second, not the third. And we tested the R. So I have to stop trying to say that in my mind. So blank U, blank I-N. Um, wow. Wow. Q is not a player here. W doesn't work. Y doesn't work. 
Uh, hmm. This is an interesting one. I don't think there's... No, it's not X, anything. I'm not seeing anything here. I don't want to do another eval. That would be, I feel like, too dangerous. Um, oh, what about... Um, boy, this is an odd word. I believe it's a spice. Cumin, C-U-M-I-N. I feel like I know that... I, I feel like I know that being... A spice, and I hope I'm not wrong. It'd be almost like in my connections videos where I know I've heard this word, and maybe I've got it mixed up with something else. Wouldn't be the first time that's happened. So the definition I'm not 100% on, but I know I've heard this word, and I know it's not something you like, it comes up in everyday conversation, especially if it's like a spice. Um, especially if you don't like spicy food, and I don't like spicy food. But anyhow, I, that's all I've got. And, and if anything, we have to obviously confirm the eyes in the fourth spot. So if it's not the answer, we're going to be in a bit of a jam. Uh, but I'll cross that bridge, bridge if I get there. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word cumin? Yes, it is. Okay, so I feel like that was a tricky one. I feel like that's a word we don't use every day in conversation, so that could have that could have tripped up some folks. Let me know in the comments how you did with this one. Did I get? The, I believe I got the definition of that right, but uh, I'll be I'll be corrected <laughs> if, if I'm not. Uh, and I hope you guys did good on this one. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, and we're gonna try the word doubt. So hopefully there'll be no doubt. It will all be successful. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, folks, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.